in that department. Yeah, it's a little bit, but that's not your ideal pair for the Aphelios. It's not yep. an Enchanter, it's not a Thresh. So it's definitely something that needs to roam more NFs in 2021 Summer. It's mostly coincidence, okay. but it is interesting, I find, that Cloud9 has been so good in double limb, and every time they've made it to, the to this point, the expectation for Cloud9 is this qualification, is fighting for the trophy. Energy has been a top, walling their way up here, but Blabber brings the crash down in its first blood over to C9. The timing can't tell if it's just the fact that they're thinking about scaling for worlds or if they actually can't put it together. And remember, we've mentioned it before already. Energy is one of the squads that's figured oh, them out Ignar. before. Nice. Ignar going in with a pulverized headbutt follow up, and they give the money over to FBI. Energy, well played Order there. It. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Get in there. There we go. 625 gold as well as huge the gold. Look at that total gold now, 500 ahead. Picking up another plate. The gold difference hasn't really changed Whoa. much as Blabber flashes in. Magnet Storm on two targets. Shattering Strike looking to keep Ignar locked down. Eminence going underneath the turret looking for FBI. Oh. Fires on the Moonlight Vigil and he takes Eminence down as the fight into the river. May just be able to favor Energy now. Blabber's in the middle of four and he ain't walking away from this one. Contracts locks him down. Palafox blows him up. Now Fudge has to try to get out. Energy turning around beautifully. Eminence got way too hype underneath that bottom lane tier one. He goes in here. But but no one is actually there to follow up. Berserker can't fly over the wall. And then this attempted solo kill uh, no, happened this... again yeah. and actually got him this time. <laughs> Pop into the top part of the rift right now. And remember, it was Energy who took the first. Cloud9 decided not to challenge for it. C9 gonna take it, make his way back in. But you can see they didn't have any mid pressure with Palafox being top. So even though the Herald dropped, that couldn't get them. And now they're trying to use Maokai ult to clear out the river. Maokai ult flies through. Now Zven could be the one in some trouble. Ignar flies in after him. Already has the ulti activated, but he won't get anything else. And it looks like the damage is gonna be back into the Energy support. C9 get a free kill. Energy not having the engage they were looking for. It's too disjointed. It's too chaotic and it's not enough to stop C9, who now can just march themselves into the bottom side river. m &S. S is just trying to force down the turret with no minion wave. I'm not really no. sure what is going on here. Palafox might be able to hunt him down. <laughs> Berserker comes over to help him. This but has gotten a little bit wild, and now the dragon is once again the target. Blabber dropping the magnet storm, looking for contracts as he makes his way into the pit, but he's gonna be burned down before anything else happens. Sven now targeted next. Dokla picking one up. It'll be a one for one so far, and energy ain't done yet. Blabber's gonna get burned. A double kill over to the croc. Fudge picks another one back up as FBI falls. Imanes tries to get away, but Dokla will slice and dice his way to a triple kill. All right, this is officially a mess. Drake, which lowers their DPS, and allows Dokla approach into River, and it ultimately secures energy. The shields off of him. Palafox, shock blast over the wall, finds Fudge, but nobody else. They're using Maokai ulti to try to keep him away here from the Drake. It's going to be secured by FBI as Blabber went into the field. It's a massive pulverize coming out onto three targets, but Imanes is still safe and free firing back on the contracts. Fudge goes on a killing spree, and C9 get a one for nothing here at the start. FBI put it up, but he's got about a million chakrams. He flashes back away. The damage pours into the Cloud9 health bars. Imanes about to be caught as Dope is in the middle of three, and he's not going to be able to get away either. Palafox goes over the wall to the skies, to the ground. Imanes will fall. Two dead on C9. Ward over the wall from Energy. They see what's going on now. Dokla's in bottom lane. It's a teleporting into the pit now. The Baron's down to 1300. Dokla comes in, but it's going to be secured by Blabber already. But what about the fight? C9 have lost him in S. Sven tries to get away. Ignar may have been taking a chunk of damage, but he's already got the ulti back, so he's ready to go. Contracts chases down Sven. Blabber will fall too. It's a Baron for three as C9 can barely escape. Fudge is going to be it out. Berserker trying to go berserk here on FBI, but he's going to be locked down instead. Contracts ready to follow up here on the chase. FBI using the Gale Force to chase after the Cloud9 Marksman. Dokla's still coming in from behind. They want to punish the Kai'Sa, the Supercharger, to try to get away. Dokla will not have enough damage to kill him. Energy's not going to get a fourth, but they're going to use this momentum to take down a turret in mid. Another turret in top. Smash Blabber in the middle of everybody ain't going to escape. Fudge used the teleport there as an escape mechanism. Otherwise, he was in danger of falling too. As Sven has been caught in the enemy jungle, trying to go on a little bit too deep of a warding mission without close enough help. Now with both the Crescendum and the Calibrum, he's going to have the extra range as Dokla and Fudge get into a scrap here down in bottom lane. C9 with control over the Drake pit, control over the river. Ignar jumps in and knocks Blabber back into the pit. Accelerated shock blast over the wall. FBI ulti hits two. Blabber's very low, but the Drake also is low. Magnet Storm FBI! back on the wall. Targets FBI's in the middle of everybody. They haven't killed him yet, but Fudge goes in for the shot.
shut down. And C9 finally find a fight. They've taken out the enemy AD carry mid jungler hole. Only Doak was left standing besides Ignar Man. C9, triple kill for Fudge. They'll slam that fight. Oh. So obnoxious for FBI. He has a stopwatch this fight. Palafox has a broken stopwatch. That hasn't turned into GA yet. That last fight was really the blueprint for how C9 wants to play. They might try again here. Yeah, Contract instantly getting chunked for half HP there thanks to the Kai'Sa. TP arrives as Dokla's ready to join up with the rest of energy. But C9 have already dispersed. Meanwhile, MS was still up here in the top lane, applying pressure to the turrets. Trist does this so effectively. Here's out that wave with the Baron down to 8,000 HP already. C9 shreds through this thing with two marksmen. It's a flip. Contracts wants to get in there. The Maokai ulti's already found its way, but Blabber's found the smite. C9, they bring in Fudge for reinforcements. If Energy want the fight, they're gonna have to take it 5v5. Blabber over the wall there. Shattering strike into the crash down. They found the enemy jungler. They drop Ooh. the death charge of the FBI and force them into the stopwatch as Berserker goes into the back. The Kai'Sa is diving and C9 is thriving. A double kill for the AD carry as FBI tries to get one, but immediately falls to the counter-strike damage. Ignar wants to get out, but there's just no way. It's a five for one. It's the end of the game. The Baron fight for C9. Berserker flew in off of just a Nautilus ultimate to start that fight onto FBI. Realized he couldn't finish it off. Flashed over the wall, but then just solo killed Palafox after burning so much on FBI. C9, take game one. C9 will march this one in. There's no way these timers are going to be short enough to give energy a chance. The Nexus turrets are down. It was a back and forth bloody game, but C9's team fighting saves the day. They're going to win this first one in the best of five. All business for Berserker, 5-0-10.